First of all, how did it feel walking out with the uh, armband on? Yeah, I mean, dreams do come true, you know how it is. Um, yeah, I just had the goosebumps as I was coming out and uh, something that I've been working on for a long time and the moment finally came, so I'm just grateful, grateful um, to the manager, grateful to the club, grateful to the group of players I'm with um, for sharing this moment with me. Did you know for a while that you're going to be wearing it or was it a bit of a surprise? I mean, was it a nice surprise? <laughs> yeah, it was a nice surprise, literally. I was, I was getting ready to kind of stretch and loosen up and... Um, Mike Feeling just came to me and said, you're ready to go see the referee? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, Come on, like, you're captain. I was like, all right, let's get it, you know? Yeah. Doing it against your, well, your hometown club, really. Yeah. Not a nice touch. Yeah, it, was, uh, it made it even that bit more sweeter, a bit, uh, a bit more special. Uh, I had a lot of family and friends that came to watch this game. So, um, you know, having my first game as captain in front of them was, was just um, remarkable. Well, Andy, we've just seen the draw. Um, Chelsea away. I suppose it couldn't be, uh, couldn't be much tougher than that, could it? It's a, it's a good game, tough game, uh, but we will we'll prepare for it and, and try to win the game. It's always been a difficult game for us, but we went there in the FA Cup, of course, last year and got a victory. I suppose it shows what can be done. Yeah, it, uh, it can be done. Uh, we'll prepare uh, for the game, and but it's still now uh, we have to focus for the next game. It's Arsenal. If you, if you want to win it, you have to beat the best. We played them uh, first game of the season this year. We, we played them in the cup, FA Cup last year. so And it's slots nicely into uh, a couple of weeks with loads of travelling. Belgrade, Norwich, Chelsea and Bournemouth. Nice fixture computer that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it is, but that's, uh, you know, that's how it is and uh, we've got to make the best out of it and I'm sure we are because that's, that's the type of group this is, that's the type of club we are. We're not going to say, oh, we, we're going to relish it and look forward to it. It pushed you all away um, tonight. Is it just the, the case of not getting the second goal, which has been a bit of an issue for us at, at times this season. Yeah, we go one nil up many games, and uh, today it's again go one nil up, and you you think, come on then, uh, get the second, which is is the key now, and that's a learning uh, curve for these boys as well. We need to go for the second. We at this club, you don't you don't just sit back and hope that's enough. We uh, if you if you settle for uh, good enough, that's that's not what we want. Um, you know, we had the um, comfortable on the ball. We were, we were uh, on the ball most of the time of the game, and um, we couldn't find really the the pass through and, and, and finish the, the chances off. We had a lot of shots and a lot of finishes. Uh, yeah, we're a bit unlucky in that, but in the end we got the goal. Uh, unlucky that we got the goal against, uh, but uh, good that we went through with the penalty. Another terrific strike by uh, by Mason. Yeah, uh, good strike. He's there uh, uh, to score goals, and, and that's what he does. Yeah. He's got two great feet and penalty with his right. So it must be a nightmare for defenders having him one-on-one uh, -on -one in the box because, he, as you say, he can go both ways, and which is, for, for me, fantastic. And you can just see uh, he's got quality and he'll, um, he'll get his uh, share of games. And, but he's young, he's going to... will allow him to... Um, grow uh, slowly but surely. That could easily have massively deflated a Rochdale side who gave it everything, but they, they, they kept going, didn't they? Yeah, and that's testament to their coaches, trust their players, testament to their players who kept believing. I think it's so important that you, you've got different ways of playing football and they, uh, they did and they came here and had a go, which um, made it a very uh, open and entertaining game chances for both teams. What is it like when you're walking up to the Stretford end ready to take a penalty? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, you know. Uh, I had the feeling like uh, I was for sure going to score. The, the ball just, Stretford end just sucked the ball in. So, yeah, it was it was a good feeling. No nerves when you're walking? It's quite, I bet it's a long walk from the halfway line, huh? Yeah, it's a long walk, but, but uh, no. Uh, I'm sure that everyone wanted me to score and, and, and I had that feeling as well. Great for Zand, effectively he got the winning penalty as well at Stretford then, lovely for him. Yeah, I guess it's a little throwback to AC Milan in pre-season um, you know, and then it helps just to have a confidence piece, so um, well done to him and well done to the team. Always pressure in a shootout, um, but it was a perfect uh, penalty shootout from United's point of view. Yeah, we handled that really well. I think uh, everyone just, uh, they wanted to take penalties, went up there and uh, as they did against AC Milan in, uh, in Cardiff. I'm very, uh, very pleased with the confidence. That's, um, you know, we're better in penalty shootouts than in, <laughs> in proper games. Nice for Dan, though, in front of the stretch to get, effectively get what is the 
the winning penalty. Yeah. And he comes, he, he's asking to take the penalty, and that's what you want. You want players to to come there and say, give it me.